Your morning, folks. I always give thanks and praise to your creator. Whoever you may conceive him or her to be. That's my hat. My favorite hat. Anyway, I'm going to drop two clips here on two different perspectives. One on Christianity and one on the so-called queen that gets passed away. But these folks, I do not own the rights to these videos. These two clips, I do not own the right to these two videos. These two clips is for educational purposes only. But they put a lot of stuff in profit. They put a lot of stuff in perspective for you to look at things from a totally different angle. I was trying to put one here on the rituals that they and the um, knowledge that I was spreading on Stone Mountain that they were my brother Rich on Black Magic 365. But I'm trying to upload a video to post it on this channel, but somehow it's giving me a little static because they're all 44 minutes long. But it's what they did today on. Anyway, these two clips, <laughs> different story. These two clips are on two different perspectives. One of Christianity and one of the Queen. Check it out. Much love, peace out, one love. Some people are saying that celebrating or minimizing the death of the Queen is insensitive. That may be true, but in my view, it's even more insensitive to saturate our media with celebratory posts about a person who, for many people, is a symbol of genocide, colonization, and all the violent institutions that came with it. She was queen when Britain helped lead the war that destroyed my country. And just this year, she gave a knighthood to one of the main criminal masterminds behind it, Tony Blair. Far from showing respect for the dead, that's basically saying it's honorable to kill hundreds of thousands of Iraqis. And of course, this is just one of countless atrocities committed in the name of a crown adorned with the spoils of war. So in my view, it's totally inappropriate for people to police how victims of colonization talk about the passing of the queen. And I think it's only right that if we choose to remember her legacy, that we remember all of it. You already had your reservations Ten. towards religion. religion. I had reservations in kindergarten. What informed you that early? Um, they said Christians are the lambs of God. Mm. And I know sheep are very stupid animals. So I wanted to be a goat. <laughs> I realized goats were very intelligent mm. and sheep were not. I said to my friends, the Bible was written by a liar like me. That's why I don't believe in it. Wow. And they went to report to the teacher. I fear religion more than anything in this world. When you veer away from religion, people think it's because you are not interested in God. But mm -hmm. it's the opposite. Religion comes between you and God. I don't want there to be anything between me and God. I want to have a, relation, a direct relationship with God. All religions say there is only one God. Whether it is true or not, it means Christians and Muslims, even when they are fighting, they are worshipping the same God. Because they both believe there is one God. So religion is what creates the conflict between human beings. God unites us, but religion divides us. Mm. So I like the God without the religion. You know, in Ghana, I see three-year-old children, they can recite A, B, C, D, yeah. up to Z. But mm. actually, what does that prove? It doesn't prove anything. Mm. So we should teach young children how to play, to interact with other children, to improve their social skills. So this, our obsession with teaching children one to hundred when they are two them. years old, yes, it's not healthy for our children. Our education system has done us more harm than good mm -hmm. so far. The primary purpose of our educational system so far has been to separate us from our inherent identity. First of all, you are not taught in your own language. Mm -hmm. If you go to church, they preach to you in your own language. The only book that has ever been translated into our languages is the Bible. But what they pretend to be teaching us, they never translated into our languages. So we never understood it. So the primary purpose of education is to indoctrinate you with religion. There is no school in Ghana where religion is not compulsory. The primary purpose of education, as it was brought to us, was to teach us religion. That is why they translated the religion into our language, but they didn't translate anything else into our language. That means they are not actually interested in us learning anything other than religion. Our entire system of education is based on a British model. The British were not interested in making us better people. Otherwise, they would not have colonized us. Colonizing somebody is not about helping them, it's about helping yourself.